Hey guys, I started painting a year ago and this is every painting that I've done during the year. So I'm pretty aware that all everyone wants to see are my painting progressions. So my worst painting is, this is probably the worst painting I've done. Um, I can't actually tell if it's up or, oh, this is the right way, this is the right way. And my best paintings, um, I mean, I don't know if it's my best painting, but this is my favorite painting that I did during the year. And now that's out of the way, onto the video. During one year of painting, there were so many things I learned or that I thought I learned, but when push comes to shove and there's a painting in month 10 that is worse than month one, how much did I truly learn? Yes, I agree, painting like every other skill is not a straight line graph, it's a wobbly one with peaks and valleys but the trends should always be linear and my valleys are way too deep. I need to be able to fix these valleys to be certain I know what to do and that things are not luck. With that in mind, that's why these are not tips. And next is the first general thing that I learned from one year painting. This might not sound great to the purists, but the only reason I picked up painting was to hang out with friends doing quarantine. And looking back at the year, I now realize it was a great way to spend time with them. You see, for me, if I don't know someone that well, asking them out to get a coffee has always felt kind of strange. Like, I'm not sure if it's just me thinking dollar signs, or it's the idea of a formalized talk to get to know someone, or perhaps it's the fact that I don't even drink coffee. But it always kind of stresses me out. However, when I think, hey, let's go painting together, things are like so much more casual, we can still talk, memories are made, and heck yes, I get a new painting to take home and remember. It's like the pressure of forced socialization is taken off edge by the fact that at any time I can just focus on painting. Honestly, out of this whole stack of paintings, I probably did less than five alone. <laughs> I've met so many people through painting and the best part about meeting people through something you already enjoy and that they already enjoy is that right off the bat you can start a friendship on a common foot. For example, I got to know Q sketches a bunch from painting. We went from strangers on a zoom call to the bestest of buddies. We've traveled around LA to all the coolest paint spots and I definitely look forward to painting with her more when I come back. Yeah, for sure I got better at painting, but honestly, compared to my one year figure drawing where at the end of every single figure drawing session, I would go home, identify the problems and practice fixing those problems. So that next time I wouldn't make the same problem. With painting, I'd come home and think, oh, well, that was a good time hanging out with friends. And I wouldn't try fix the problems that I've made. And as time keeps going on, maybe I do get a little better, but honestly, my improvement was not that great. For example, this is the last painting I did. Um, it's uh, it's uh, it's not it's not that great, you know. I still get strangers stopping by and be like, "Hey, are you a student?" And you know, if you're if I still look like a student, then I'm still student level. But this painting I did here two months ago suffers from exactly the same problem as this painting in terms of clarity, and. I don't know how to fix it, but if I had fixed it two months ago, at least I would know how to fix it when I did this one. I keep making the same mistakes over and over. If one day I realize at the end of my painting I need to work on clarity of shapes and making more decisive shapes, the next week I may have forgotten, or even if I do remember, I don't have any practice or research on how to actually execute the idea. Optimally, I should be looking more at other artists, stealing wheels and knowledge on how to do things. If I want to do something, I should find out how, instead of repeatedly making the same mistake over and over. It's as though the social and enjoyment aspect has overshadowed the pursuit of raw skill. When I first started painting, at least for me, sometimes it was a bit hard to actually go out and paint. Solvent, easel, brushes, 
tripod gloves. Sometimes I'm so afraid of forgetting even one thing. It's a mental barrier I have to climb over if I want to go paint. Honestly, I imagine my willpower as a dog jumping over a fence where the fence is how difficult it is to go paint and my willpower is fueled by who I will see and how much I will get better or if I've left the house in 48 hours. But <laughs> at the beginning, it's so difficult to think of a location and to tell myself that I'm going to commit two to three hours to staring at a tree. Uh... What really helped the process for me was labeling everything I needed in a list. And whenever I wanted to paint, I just look at the list and mentally check mark everything I needed and then pack it in a bag. Instead of painting being find a location, then pack a gams or a tripod, etc. It became find a location and look at the list. It also helped greatly to have some go-to spots. Within my circle of friends, there was this river we liked to paint at, and it's extremely accessible with the benefit that it's kind of nice. However, it's not extremely nice, nor is it super exciting. Sometimes we'd paint there for lack of knowing somewhere else to go, and it's a backup paint spot. And having a backup paint spot reduced the effort to search for new places to paint. I don't want to paint at the river again. I'd rather paint at insert a new location. And just like that, location and setup is done. And all that was left was to have a great time painting with friends. So there's 45 seconds left of me going through essentially every painting. So here's a recap. One, painting is super social. It's a great way to strengthen friendships with people you already know, and also a great way to meet like-minded people if you like painting. Two, there's a difference between effort and conscious effort. While I did get better at painting this year by painting a bunch, ultimately I needed more conscious effort on actually getting better in order to have the same level of progression that I did in drawing. Skill does not come for free, and I definitely want to steer this painting ship towards something that I want. 3. Making it as easy as possible to paint to actually go out and paint. I feel like a lot of people put it off compared to digital because of the tools involved, but painting is such a lifestyle benefit, I can't recommend it enough. All right, and that's it. Uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. I enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I wish you the best for the rest of your day or night, wherever you are in the world. Take care guys, have a lovely day, peace.